This is Sonic Control's DAW School, where you learn how to plan and buy the right computer system to record your music. So get ready, because here comes the teach. Well, when it comes to the retail sales, what was the difference between Apple and IBM? Well, today, you can buy Apple hardware, Macs, through Best Buy and other local dealers. You have to be certified. Um, but one thing you will notice about them, they never go on sale. Think, when was the last time you saw a Macintosh on sale from Apple? Well, the only time I ever saw one on sale was a number of months ago when they were blowing out the old MacBooks and we got one super cheap through Best Buy. Um, other than that, Apple doesn't have sale prices. You pay full price. And if you get an Apple Christmas catalog or an Apple Christmas mailing, it's full price. There's hardly anything on sale or on special there. And that's because Apple has a short discount. They've set it up in such a way that their computers will not become commodity priced. And that's why when you go out and you buy Macs, you pay full price for a Mac. The only time you can get a lower price on a Mac is when you go through a company like ADK Pro Audio, who is an authorized Mac dealer, but Macintosh builds the first part of that computer. And then what you're allowed to do, uh, work on, um, or what, and what they're allowed to work on, is they can install com uh, RAM chips and hard drives. But the main bulk of that system is built by Apple. And so my have, I have a belief here, and my belief is that when you're buying from Apple, what you're really buying with the Macintosh by concept is you're buying an, I, an IBM mainframe on a desktop. Not that it's a mainframe, but that kind of concept. A mainframe on a desktop. For music, Apple systems now set the pace for the marketplace. Uh, with all the development that's going on right now, the computer to get is going to be the Mac Pro with the 8 cores. Is it more expensive? Yeah. But it's going to do more and all the development for most of the um, third-party companies is going in that direction. Well, it's now an Intel CPU. So that means if it's going to be 8 core on the Mac, then you're going to be looking at 8 cores on the PC. And so if you try to look at, you can, you can certainly look at a quad core and you'll get uh, great performance that way. But the thing that's most important to understand is dollars are limited. And so the development is going to go on those eight cores. Now, what does this mean to you? Well, it means that when Apple is doing all of this work, it means, well, let me put it to you in a negative way. It means you're not doing any system integration for the most part. You're buying a box, just the way we talked about with the E4 and the E5000. It's already assembled. You're not buying a bag of parts. The only thing you're making a selection on, and that selection has nothing to do with system integration, is you're just picking features. You're not picking out a motherboard. You're not picking out anything else. All you're doing is saying, I want X amount of RAM. I want X amount of hard drives. And I want my hard drive to have so much capacity. And I've already recommended that your hard drives be one terabyte. So that's about it. I mean, you can make a few other choices here and there, but beyond that, um, you're buying a closed system. And so when it comes to Apple Macintosh compared to a PC, guess what? There is no system integration for the most part. Whatever system integration there is has to do with the software you put into the machine, not the parts. So that's what I see as the primary difference between a Mac and a PC. And one of the great things about that, uh, and I'm not saying this to sell Macs, but as somebody who has one now, is that um, you're not doing, it's kind of like this, when you're working with the Mac and music, because the decisions are made for you on the stuff that really, 
why would you want to make a decision on to begin with? Why would you want to go pick out your own motherboard? Why would you want to sit there and fuss over which power supply you're going to be using when somebody's already done that and built it for you? So when you have a Macintosh, you're working with what I consider to be a mainframe on a desktop where the prices are upheld and the service, for the most part, from Apple is generally very, very good. So where does that put the PC today? Well, I look at it like this. If the Macintosh is a mainframe on a desktop, then the PC, is, by comparison, is a concept machine. And what I mean by that is, is that there's nobody has anything proprietary anymore since IBM is no longer building their own systems. PCs are now known by one thing, the operating system. So most of the time you don't even hear people talking about PCs. Now they're talking about Windows machines, except Microsoft doesn't build any machines outside of the Xbox and things of that nature. So when you go to the PC, then you have a concept and you have to build it from scratch. And that has pluses and minuses. There are certain things, as we'll talk about, um, that are being developed. And they are best run on the PC because that's where the development dollars are going. And that's where that software should probably be run on. But where it stands right now, well, just last night, I had a potential client write me a letter asking what he should do for a PC or his computer system. And by the time I worked it out for him, he was able to have a complete electronic symphonic orchestra on one computer. And that was the Mac. That was the Mac Pros. And by being very judicious in the software he selected uh, from Apple and from other companies, he would have literally sitting on a desktop a world-class recording studio. Um, and so that's where it is. That's the time. Now, can you do that with a PC? You can, but not as elegantly. And so because you have freedom on the PC to build whatever kind of machine you want, that means by default you have to be a system integrator for what you're doing over there. And so one of the choices in, in buying systems becomes, do you want to do your own system integration? If the answer is you don't mind that, you have fun doing it, then look at PC software and go in that direction. If you're somebody who goes, no, I really don't want to do that. I just want to, I just want it set for me. Then Apple can be a very good choice because as I mentioned uh, in the last DOS school episode, the Mac Pro already comes with a motherboard capable of handling 32 gigabyte of RAM. Whereas on a PC, you have to get a special motherboard capable of handling 32 gigabyte RAM. And that's called a server motherboard. So that's it for this episode. Those, that's how I look at the differences between um, Apple and the PC. And I will look forward to seeing you next time in DOS school.